What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about bone meal. Bone meal is phosphorus and calcium uh, in a kind of ground up gravelly form that you're going to put on the top of your soil. Um, when that drains in from watering or the rain, that's going to put in the phosphorus and calcium into your soil. Uh, the benefits of bone meal are a stronger, deeper root system and whenever you have flowers you're gonna have a better flower production and the flowers that you do have are going to stick if you grow peppers like I do you know exactly what I'm talking about flowers drop whether it's heat watering issues and stuff like that bone meal will help these flowers stay so that is the benefit of bone meal alright so what I've got is some organic bone meal phosphorus it's also calcium and this is organic. Um, okay, so looking in the bag, the stuff is just kind of like a gravel kind of dust. Um, it does not smell good. It stinks pretty bad. Um, so we got a plant right here. This is a Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. So we're gonna reach in here, just get a handful, and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle it around. Like I said. If you're getting a thick crust on there, put way too much. I do this every year, do the same amount. It always works great. I don't want to hear no, you put too much, you didn't put enough. Mind your business, do it your way. Here is another one, this is a Brazilian ghost. Now that these are kind of getting some flowers, pods, um, and everything's just really starting to take off, this is the perfect time to put this on here. I'm also going to be putting on some potash, which is potassium. Um, but I won't show you that. It's the same process, so no point in just doing things over and over again. But that's about it bone meal this stuff's like I don't know six seven bucks a bag at Walmart and it's how much is this, four pounds so if you got this right here will last me and I've got like 30 plants here and I'll be able to do all of them and still have plenty left so get your bag try it out if you're at that stage with your plants where you are seeing this. If you're seeing this with your plants, no matter what kind of vegetables or whatever you're growing, as soon as you're seeing flowers and buds starting to come up, put this on there. It'll increase your buds and increase your fruit production. We'll get these knocked out and these things are gonna have a great season. Okay, all the plants are now done. On, on so normally what you would do next is you're gonna go ahead and water this stuff in the plants um, get them nice and soaked in I am NOT going to do that because it's supposed to rain all week here um, it's already kind of coming in for tonight way back there um, so I'm not gonna bother it will get nice and soaked in from the rain and these things are going to be looking great very, very soon. Lots and lots of fruit. Um, some of these, uh, like the yellow reaper that's a little bit smaller, and my Peter Pepper, and my Apocalypse Scorpion, um, those are still a little bit smaller. I'm not really ready for them to go full-blown um, producing yet, so I put just a very small amount on those just to kind of help with the root system, not necessarily the flower and fruit production. All right, guys, that is how I use bone meal. So until next time, peace.